Time to earn your pay, people. Put on your game faces. I tell you, I'm not too comfortable working with Pakatari and these rebels. Their kind of ideology always ends up with more bodies in the ground. What's your feeling on this op, Nomad? End of the day, this is a revenge mission. We need to focus and get this done quick before we get stuck between local politics and the firestorm of cartel bullets. First objective, track down that Santa Blanca lieutenant so we can find Amaru. Who are? I'll drive. So these two Marines board a flight to Houston. Marines and planes. This ought to be good. No sooner had they settled down into their seats than an army corporal comes down the aisle and took the seat next to them. So the corporal settles in, pulls off his boots, and gets comfortable. Now the two Marines take one look at this guy and decide Ready? Open they're going to have a little fun. Roger that. After the plane's in the air, the Marine in the window seat turns to the corporal. Hey, buddy, he says. You mind grabbing a drink for me? No problem, the army guy says, and hops up to get a drink from the flight attendant. While he's gone, the Marine takes one of the corporal's boots and spits in. That's just nasty. The corporal comes back with the Marine's drink. He's just getting comfortable again when the second Marine grins and says, Hey man, that drink sure looks good. You mind getting one for me too? And you know what? The corporal just grins. You bet, he says, and hops right on up. As soon as he's gone, the Marine grabs the other boot and hocks a big old loogie right inside. The Marines sit back and enjoy their drinks. A couple hours later, the bird touches down. The corporal pulls on his boots. But right away he knows what's happened. He turns to the jarheads who are both giving him these shit-eating grins. How long must this go on? This hatred, this animosity, this spitting in boots and pissing in drinks. Ready? Fire, fire, <laughs> fire. Copy that. <laughs> Santa Blanca, you must try. There is much in life to be accomplished. Start now, while the foolishness of youth runs in your veins, and before Santissima Muerte takes you. I'm engaging takeoffs. Tango down. Good shooting. Let's clean up and move on. Drone is airborne. Looks like we've riled them up. 
una patrulla va camino. Enemy Shit reinforcements balls. incoming. Get the hell out of there. Everybody hold up, we got hostiles in the area. Don't want to spook the target. Switch to suppressors. Eyes on the target. Let's move. Si te mueves, estás muerto. Entiendes? Spotted one with submachine guns. Target down. Looks like the film frog. Tango down. We'll leave a marker so the rebels can pick up these supplies later. Everybody hold up, we got hostiles in the area.
That's a kill. They're coming right for us. Hostile down. Out, get some. This Mexican organization, this Latin organization, believes as I do. Can't go down. Get that quieto. Pinche cabrón. Here's the deal, asshole. You answer my questions, or I put a bullet in your gut and leave you to die in your own shit. Mo entiendes? Chill the fuck out, cabrón. What do you want? Amaru, where can I find him? <laughs> you serious? That's what this is about? Your thing? He's at Atoya Farm. Go on. Then you can see what we do to people who fuck with us. People like you. We need to get this done in a hurry. Amaru's an old man. He's not gonna last long under torture. Shit, if they've been working on him for a while, there's a good chance he's already dead. Maybe, maybe not. Amaru's a major player in the rebel movement. The cartel will keep him alive as long as they can to find out what he knows. We can't afford to take any chances. There's too much riding on this. Let's move. Let's get moving. The cartel isn't gonna wait around for us to track down and rescue Amaru. I think our guns are spooking them. And now, up, back people. to the music that makes your culo bounce up and down. Man, you'll never let me drive anymore. Just cause that one time?
Did you hear the Pentagon had too many generals, so they decided to get rid of some of them? It's about damn time. Well, somebody with the Joint Chiefs came up with the idea of offering $10,000 of severance pay for each inch of the general's body. The generals could be measured any way they chose. An Air Force general goes first. He's a smart guy, so he says he wants to be measured from head to toe. They measure him and come up with 70 inches, so he accepts a severance of $700,000. Next up was an Army general. This guy says he wants to be measured from the tip of his right finger to the tip of his left finger. The measurement comes out to 80 inches. The Army general smiles and takes a severance of $800,000. So the two generals are mighty damn pleased with themselves. But this Marine general's been watching the whole thing. And after a couple minutes, he steps up and says, You pukes are going to measure me from the tip of my dick to the bottom of my balls. Man, Marine generals are coming up on a Toyo farm. Remember, a lot of these Sicarios are ex-military. I be your targets. If Amaru gets killed by a stray round, Operation Kingslayer will be dead in the water before it even starts. Let's go. Oh, no! Take cover! Took you so long. They're gonna be on top of us in another few seconds. What do we do? Check it out. Wait. Cartel gunman. I don't see him. By the barn. I got one narco by the shed. gonna make you back up. Take 
Up. We got hostiles in the area. Yo, cartel gunman. Front of the barn. I got a narco over here. The field, see? One narco by the barn. That's a kill. Engage the targets. down. He's down.
Yo, cartel gunman. In the field. You're gonna get the tank back. Firing. Target down. Shit balls. One piece. Oiga, oiga. Usted puede ayudarnos. Yo sé que usted puede. Are you Amaru? What's left of him anyway? Come on, we're getting you out of here. Hang on, I'll drive. Where are you taking me? Back to your friends. Entonces Pacatari has made his deal with the malditos extranjeros, the young fool. Take it up with him, senor.
Chip Erico with the real treat for you today. It is with great pleasure that I introduce our hero in the Stetson, our saint of social media, mi compadre, La Plaga. Hey, muchas gracias, DJ Perico. I'm really happy to be here. Chingón, carnal. So, hey, I have to say, that was some inspired shit. Hanging this bottle upside down, then cutting? How did you think this shit up? Chido, bro. I appreciate the comments. In actuality, I read a lot, DJ Perico. The French intellectual Georges Bataille wrote extensively about methods of torture, and as he describes, there is an erotic element to the activity. Uh-huh. And tangentially, I try to exploit that element for the viewing audience. This is it. I got eyes in a weapons case. Hit the sea, bro! Deploying drone. Are you hurt? Santa Blanca is not the most gracious of hosts. These Aucas, these demons, they had questioning me. Let us see. Their talk of love was enough to make me vomit. But their methods were not... Were not... Were their names Yuri and Polito? Si! Sí. Yuri and Polito. These are the fucks that tortured Ricky Sandoval while Sueño questioned him. I want them bad. We only saw run-of-the-mill Sicarios when we freed Amaru. But I haven't seen Yuri and Polito in at least three days, maybe four. I don't know where they are now. We need more intel. We'll search every village and camp until we find something. Somebody's gotta know something. Gather documents, hack computers, interrogate hostile lieutenants, talk to civvies, whatever it takes. We'll turn over every rock. Heads up. Bowman's file on Yuri and Polito is coming.